Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to share with you my Sega Genesis collection. And I thought it was good timing since the Sega Genesis just turned 25 years old. The Genesis was originally released in North America on August 14th, 1989, but I didn't get my Genesis until 1991, and I remember loving it to pieces. You know, back in 91, I was 11 years old, and I felt like I was in this weird age group. Like, video games were awesome, um, but I was growing up, and I was kind of feeling like they were just a little bit too kiddy on the Super Nintendo, and the Genesis totally appealed to me. You know, I felt like I was rebelling against Nintendo because the Genesis had some badass games. I mean, there was violence there. So let's take a look at my Sega Genesis collection. So first up, we have here Primal Rage, which is a fighting game. Um, not really my bag. I think I got this uh, for super cheap at like a yard sale or something. Thing and tried it out don't really like it too much I know a lot of people enjoy it though Altered Beast this is a classic honestly think this is a classic um, I actually prefer this version over the arcade version I might be in the minority there but classic Genesis gaming right here Maximum Carnage. This is a really good Spider-Man game. It's one of the better Spider-Man games I've ever played. Um, just good old-fashioned beat-em-up fun, you know? And I love the red cart. You guys know I'm a sucker for the different color carts. Pack Attack. Um, this is not what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be some type of platformer Pac-Man game, but from what I remember, I think it was more or less a puzzle game or something like that. Um, didn't really enjoy it that much got another Spider-Man game here. This one is just named Spider-Man. Um, it's okay, but it definitely can't touch Maximum Carnage. The Addams Family. This is like one of the first games that I got when I started to collect for the Genesis a few years back, and I was so happy to have this back in my collection. It's really nothing special, but it brings back a lot of memories for me. I love The Addams Family. Those movies, I love the TV show, um, and playing this game as a kid, I just would play it for hours on end. And it's just as fun as it was, you know, when I was younger. So it's a fun little platformer. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I actually got this um, when I picked up a few other games from someone on Craigslist. And I thought it was going to be like a throwaway type of licensed game. But it turns out it's actually a lot of fun. It's a beat em up and it's pretty fun. I played this with my son back in the day. Taz Escape from Mars. Um, man, I didn't like this game. I especially didn't like it as much as the Tasmania game on the Super Nintendo. Um, but it's a Looney Tunes platformer. I guess it's alright. Green Dog, the beach surfer dude. Uh, it's pretty cool though. You know, didn't play a whole bunch of it. Um, but it's a fun little platformer. Columns. Man, I cannot stand Columns. And I'm a fan of puzzle games. I love puzzle games, but Columns is just so boring. Um, definitely doesn't have anything on Tetris. Virtual Bart. Didn't really like this game either. The Simpsons games, the retro Simpsons games, were really a lot of fun. And I had never tried this one out until I got it a few years back. Thought I was getting a platformer, but it turns out this is more or less like a virtual shooter? It's kind of weird. Didn't really like it too much. Dinosaurs for Hire. Imagine Contra, but you play as dinosaurs, and that totally equals Dinosaurs for Hire. It's a fantastic game. Great shooting. Strider. This card is kind of beat up, but I actually really dig this game. Um, I like this version a lot more compared to like the arcade version and the NES version. I know some people might gasp at that, uh, but Strider on the Genesis was really a lot of fun have two Jurassic Park games, Jurassic Park and Jurassic Park Rampage Edition. Despite me enjoying the Jurassic Park movies, didn't really like these games all that much. Uh, really nothing special here. Got another beat up cart. This is Clay Fighter. Fun fighting game. This is another game that my son and I played a lot of. Um, just pure classic fun for real. Doesn't take itself seriously. I really enjoy this. I never knew about this game growing up, but if I did, I probably would have played it. It's The Great Circus Mystery starring Mickey and Minnie. Uh, it's put out by Capcom. It's another great Capcom uh, Disney game. Tons of fun. It's classic platforming. 
Streets of Rage 2, another game that I played nonstop when I was younger. Had so much fun playing this game um, with my older cousins. Um, you know, at that age, I was old enough that I didn't get punked around. You know, they actually, I could speak up for myself and I could actually um, tell them that I wanted to play, you know. And this was one that we always played together. So much fun with the Streets of Rage series, especially this one. It's my favorite out of the series. Kid Chameleon. Guys, just take a second and look at the cover art. I mean, that's just pure 90s. Look at that dude. He's awesome. Flashback, the quest for identity. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't like this game at all. There's something about the controls that just throw me for a loop. I don't even think I played like 10 minutes of this game. Atomic Robo Kid. I don't think I've ever played this game either. This might have been one of the games that I got um, in one of the lots that I got off of eBay or something. But yeah, I didn't even know I had this in my collection. It's crazy. Toe Jam and Earl and Panic on Funkatron. This is another game that I spent a lot of time playing uh, when it was released. Man, I love the Toe Jam and Earl series. This one I think is the best one. Um, one of these days, I want to try to get the Toe Jam and Earl game that came out on the Xbox. No one ever talks about that. Rocket Knight Adventures. This is one of my favorite games on the Genesis. The platforming is just spot on. This is just pure 90s fun. It honestly is. When I think of like a retro platformer, this is one of the games that I that come to mind, honestly. Sonic 3D Blast. Um, gosh. I didn't really care for this game. I don't know if this game has a big following or not. I know a lot of people love Sonic, but this is one of the Sonic games that I really could have done without. Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. I know a lot of people hate on this game, but this is honestly one of my favorite games on the Genesis. I know, I must be crazy. Um, but I spent a lot of time with this game um, when I had it back in the 90s. It was fantastic. I mean, I love Michael Jackson. I loved Moonwalker. And being able to play this game, you know, was great. I could listen to Michael Jackson music. I played as Michael Jackson. I had a glove, which little sparkly flying things shot out of it. I was saving kids. Um, they needed my help. It was just awesome. Moonwalker is where it's at. Um, I don't know why it gets so much hate, but it's a fun game. Vector Man. Um, Vector Man is a game I really enjoyed. I remember it being really hard though and I feel like it's more or less a mature platformer if that makes any sense. Uh, this is pretty awesome though. You have a 1-900 number for Sega Game Secrets. I dare one of you guys to call that number and see who picks up the phone. <laughs> Another Disney game here. We have World of Illusion starring Disney's Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck. Um, this isn't my favorite game in the series, you know, the Castle of um, Illusion series, but I definitely had a lot of fun with this. I don't even think I've completed this game yet. We got two head games here, Dynamite Hetty and Decap Attack. Um, Dynamite Hetty is actually really good. If I'm not mistaken, it's put out by Treasure. Treasure developed this game. Um, it's lots of fun. You know, you can change your head and stuff like that. It gives you different abilities. Decapitat, kind of the same idea, um, but I remember this one being a lot better. Mickey Mania, The Timeless Adventures of Mickey Mouse. Um, it's an okay Mickey Mouse game. Not one of my favorites, but it's all right. Um, it's pretty interesting, though. Sony put this one out compared to Capcom. They did all the other ones, but this is put out by Sony. Quack Shot starring Donald Duck. I wish Donald would get as much love as he did back in the day. I think there's also a Game Gear version for this game. This game is awesome. For some reason or another, it reminds me of Darkwing Duck, even though... They're really not the same. I mean, they're both platformers, but um, this game is so much fun. I remember spending hours with it back in the day. Chacon. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Um, but this is a fun little game. I haven't spent a lot of time with it, but I really did enjoy it. I remember there was a lot of platforming, and I remember just hacking and slashing stuff. Um, it's more of a mature game, if you couldn't already tell by the cover art. Uh, but it really is good stuff. Rise Stars, another one of my favorite Genesis titles. This game just makes me smile. I feel like I'm always cheesing every time I play this game. Brings back so many great memories and the music is to die for. 
McDonald's Treasure Land Adventure. Um, I don't know if a lot of people know about this game. Uh, hopefully they do, but <laughs> this is good stuff. Ronald McDonald used to scare the living mess out of me when I was younger. There's just something about him. I mean, no one should be that happy. Look at that guy. Um, but this game is a lot of fun. I know it looks ridiculous and it's a McDonald's game, but don't let that fool you. Bubs B don't like this game and I definitely don't like this card. Um, I think there's a Super Nintendo version and it might be different compared to the Genesis version, um, but ugh, this game was garbage. Skitchin! Man, lots of memories with this game. Um, it's basically Road Rash, but you're on rollerblades, you know, and you can skitch or, you know, hold on to the back of bumpers, <laughs> car bumpers. It's crazy. Reminds me a lot of Road Rash. Um, it's just so much fun. Haunting, starring Poltergeist. Um, this is another underrated Genesis game. It's awesome. I found this at a thrift store a couple of years back, and I was so excited. Um, it's fun. You play as a ghost, and you basically terrorize the family the house that you're in um you go around and you um interact with items and try to scare the people that are in the house it's, it's pretty fun sonic the hedgehog 3 uh this isn't my favorite sonic game unfortunately um something about the environments i felt that it lost that magic visually um it didn't look as magical as sonic the hedgehog 2 uh, but i guess for the most part it played the same the music's really good in this game as well Moving on to my box Genesis games, we have here Miss Pac-Man. Classic, classic gaming here. Uh, you can't go wrong with Pac-Man. Honestly, you can't. Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse. Wow, I spent a lot of time playing Castle of Illusion. This is my favorite Mickey Mouse game. It's one of my favorite Genesis games. It's just great platforming. This is like my childhood right here. Um, I've played a little bit of the PlayStation 3 remake and it looks beautiful. Um, but, you know, the original is definitely where it's at. I think there's also a Game Gear version of this as well, if I'm not mistaken. Sega Classic version of The Revenge of Shinobi. Shinobi series has always kicked my butt. Um, it's in that Mega Man category for me. I never get far in these games at all. Um, I just remember being so upset when I was playing this game and wondering why <laughs> I could never get past like the first or second level. But my brother always seemed to beat this game. Um, but yeah, super hard. I should probably try to go back and see how far I can get in it. The Aquatic Games starring James Pond and the Aquabats. I don't even know why this is still in my collection. Um, I wanted the James Pond platforming game or platformer, um, but I got this instead. Uh, this is basically James Pond and his mini games. That's about it. And they're not that great. Echo the Dolphin. More classic Genesis gaming here. Good stuff. Fun game. Sonic the Hedgehog Sonic the Hedgehog Spinball. This is a fantastic pinball game set in the Sonic universe. It's super fast, lots of fun. Goofy's Hysterical History Tour. Um this is a fun game. It really is and I feel like no one ever talks about this game, but it really is a lot of fun. It's not as fun as the Goof Troop game um on the Super Nintendo. But it's pretty good. I want to get that Super Nintendo game sometime soon. Um, Goofy doesn't get enough attention. He honestly doesn't. He's such an amazing character. Um, but, you know, he never seems to star in his, his own games. You know, he's never given the spotlight. And um, he had his time to shine in this. I don't think a lot of people really played this game, but it is a ton of fun have here the original Streets of Rage. Um, this is where it all started off for me and my cousins. You know, we played a lot of it. It's not my favorite Streets of Rage game. I don't even think I have Streets of Rage 3. I don't have Streets of Rage 3. Um, 2, like I said, is my favorite out of the series. But my cousins and I, this is where it all started with us. We played the mess out of this game, too. Aladdin. Um, I don't prefer this version. I actually like the Super Nintendo version. I don't have that in my collection, unfortunately. Um, but this is okay. I mean, it, it works. It's fun. It's just not the Super Nintendo version. One of these days, I got to get around to getting that. Um, I loved Aladdin. I loved the movie. And the game just felt like I was watching the movie. It honestly did. And the music. 
amazing. The same thing can be said for The Lion King. Love The Lion King. Unfortunately, I don't have the Super Nintendo version. I feel like that's the better version. Um, but I love the movie, love the game. And, you know, playing this game was just like watching the movie. These Disney games back in the day were just out of sight. They honestly were. They were great. Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. Um, this game was okay. Uh, kind of reminded me of Dr. Mario or maybe even something like Poyo Pop. Um, it's a puzzle game set in the Sonic universe. Um, really nothing special, you know, uh, but since I like puzzle games, definitely gave it a chance. I think it's all right. It's all right. Tiny Toon Adventures Acme All-Stars. This is basically a sports mini game um, with the cast of Tiny Toon Adventures. Uh, it's pretty cute. You know, you play basketball, you play soccer. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a cool little sports game. Then we have Animaniacs, which is one of my favorite cartoons. Uh, gosh, I used to love this cartoon so much. I wish they would put it back on television. Um, but yeah, it's a fun platformer. You got Pinky and the Brain right there. Um, it's amazing, amazing stuff. I felt like at the time, I had this game back in the day, and I spent a lot of time with it, um, even though I felt like I shouldn't. Uh, you know, I think when this came out, I was maybe 12 or 13, uh, you know, and at that time, when you're 12 and 13, you kind of think that cartoons and stuff are babyish, um, or at least I did back in the day. I felt like I really shouldn't have been playing this game, but I just had so much fun every time I played it. Subterranea. Um, I'm not the biggest shmup fan. Like, I play, I play them. I don't mind them, but I haven't played a whole bunch of them. Uh, but this one just feels so awkward because the controls are just so sluggish. It's weird. I felt like it was a chore playing this game. X-Men. Uh, I never played this back in the day, but I picked it up years ago. Uh, my son enjoys comic book characters. You know, he loves Marvel. We played this a few times, and we really did enjoy it. It's, it's a beat-em-up, and it's good stuff. We got the original Sonic the Hedgehog here. It's not for resale. The the um, the box is kind of messed up. It's kind of jacked up, but you know, whatever. It's okay. Um, you know, I'm glad that I got this one. I'm glad I got the not for resale one because this is like the version that I had when I got my Genesis. My Genesis came with um, Sonic the Hedgehog. And I remember spending so much time with that game and being frustrated but loving it and you know, I was frustrated with it because I felt like, you know, compared to Mario, it was just too daggone fast. In Mario games, I like stopping and trying to find everything that I possibly could, but I couldn't do that in Sonic. You know, I really couldn't. He was just so speedy. It was ridiculous. Um, this was a good Sonic the Hedgehog game, but it definitely has nothing on Sonic the Hedgehog 2. This is my favorite Genesis game. Um, it's also not for resale. <laughs> the game is fantastic. When I think of the Genesis, I think of Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I honestly do. I got this for Christmas the year it came out. And, oh my god. I spent the whole day in my room playing this game. The music is phenomenal. Um, that day, when I got it on Christmas Day, you know, I remember my cousin came over to my house um, for Christmas dinner. And um, we didn't sit at the, at the dinner table for Christmas dinner. Uh, we ate dinner in my room and we played this game. Um, I was up until maybe 11 o'clock that night playing Sonic the Hedgehog 2. It's definitely one of my favorite Christmas presents that I've ever gotten. Man, this game is just classic. In another game that I spent a ton of time with and I love to death, NBA Jam Tournament Edition. My God, NBA Jam was hot back in the day, guys. I mean, I love basketball. You know, I played basketball back then. I loved it. And being able to play an arcade basketball game with the best players on the, in the NBA was amazing. So that's my Sega Genesis collection. Happy birthday, Genesis. 25 years old. Makes me feel super old. It honestly does. Um, what are some of your favorite Genesis games? Let me know in the comment box below. I want to thank all of you for watching this video, and I'll check you next time.